Hello, my name is Ingrid Johnson. I'm a master's degree exercise physiologist here in Encinitas, California. I specialize in exercises for people with Parkinson's. Today is the third segment in the series of muscle fluidity, hydrating the muscle tissue, and waking up nerve endings, and focusing on blood circulation. So today's segment is going to focus on both upper and lower body. So do it with me. Let's go and start with our feet. And we're going to lift up our heels and you can do like a little walking in place okay so we're starting the motion and start together and eight seven six five four three two one going right away to the upper body we're going to do head knots and head knots we're going to just stretch the back of the neck and don't excessively hyperextend your neck backwards it can cause compression but forward is great and three and two and one and then we're going to tap the heels so when you tap the heels you want to think about working the top of the feet muscles and bringing the toes up towards the shin so tap the heels and as you get used to the movement then we work it a little bit faster again we want to pump up the blood and the fluid from the feet up and so it takes a little bit of a pumping action, a little bit of speed for that. Three, two, and one. Now I'm going to do the neck again, back to the upper body. So switching back and forth, think about pouring water out of your ear and loosening up the neck muscles. So four, three, two, and one. Next, I'm going to the next joint up, which is my knees. I'm gonna bend the knees, I'm gonna top the opposite thigh and again that wakes up your muscle fibers nerve endings and as we go across the body it wakes up the brain here we go so do it with me here we go eight seven six five four three and two and one now we're going to the upper body which is the shoulders the next joint down and this scissor the shoulders here so scissoring the arms remember that the arms always start uh, from your scapula and from the clavicle in the front. So you want to feel those moving first before the rest of the arm. So four and three and two and one. Moving up to the hip joint now, I'm just going to kick up my leg. And you can do this seated or standing, of course, but start a little slower and then move up in speed. So eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And we're gonna scissor the legs crosswise or the arms and three and two and one. Okay, then I'm going to step out to the side with my legs working the hip joint laterally. So five, four, and three, and two, and one great okay i'm going to go back to the upper body and now we're going to circle the arms so make big arm circles backwards like you're swimming in a nice warm pool on a beautiful sunny summer day make them as big now let's follow the eyes follow the hand with your eyes so reaching back reaching through the waist so four three and two and one and i'm going to do the same movement for my hips i'm going to do a nice rotational movement for the hips so we call it the cigarette butt stretch think about it like you're grinding out a cigarette butt and four three and two and one and let's go to the other leg so again four three two and one super next we're going to go into the hips and knees and ankles and swing the arms forward and back swing the arms forward and back so now we're getting into all the joints in the body and forward and back forward and back three it's two and one awesome so time to put upper and lower body together now so i'm going to take a step out and scissor the arms out 
out and back, out and back, out, back, back, out, back, five, and four, and three, and two, and one. In the center now, we're going to rotate both hips and the sacrum. Hold your abs in tight so that we're not over pulling the low back. And reverse and pull yourself all the way around. It's great if you have your hands on your hips, then you can feel both sides of your waist working evenly. So four and three and two and one. So next is what I call the standing mountain climbers. I'm going to reach my right arm up, my left knee comes up. And so this is one side. Let's get one side going and then let's get the other side going and then we're going to alternate them. Huh? Three and four. Now alternating, arms up, legs out and one and two and three and four and five and six, seven, eight, and nine, and ten. Awesome. I'm going to bring my hands down. And we're going to do what's called the hundreds in Pilates. And the hundreds literally pump your blood all the way around your body uh, when you pump 100 times. Okay? So the pump comes from the shoulder blade. So stiff arms. And one, two, three, four, five. We're going to do kind of fast and fast as you can while keeping your arms still. Now I also like to challenge my balance while I do this, but it's up to you. Four, three, two, one. I'm gonna do the other leg and so pump it up, pump it up. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm gonna do a little bit with my back hand. Again, I feel the shoulder blades really pumping together on my back. Three, two, one, and down. Okay, let's shake it out, shake out the arms. And really flick like you're flicking something off of your fingers. It helps uh, with tremors. So it usually stops the tremors for a while. At least four, three, two, one. We're gonna do the same thing with our ankles. So I'm gonna flip or flick and flick the other foot. And again, flick and flick. It really is good for loosening up your ankles. All right, next we're gonna go into a, a nice shoulder stretch and neck stretch. So I'm going to take my palm up on one side, palm down on the other side. And when I do, I wanna feel that outer rotation happening from the shoulder and the inner rotationing happening from the other shoulder. And then I'm gonna go back and forth. Now this is rarely done, but in uh, sports, in high performance sports, this is used a lot for stretching and working the shoulder blades. So five and four and three and two and one and down. Awesome, so let's take some full body stretches here. We go inhale up and then exhale, we round forward. Inhale at the bottom and then exhale, draw yourself up. Okay, we want to articulate the spine, so we're going from head, neck, shoulders, upper back, mid back, low back, coming up, low back, mid back, upper back, and all the way up, okay? So one more time, inhale here, exhale, rounding forward, cervical spine, thoracic, lumbar, from here, we draw the core up and in, and lumbar, Sir, uh, thoracic and cervical. Okay, so bringing the hands together like so. I'm gonna open and close, and open and close, and open and close. So this is great to do with a leg movement. So I'll do a knee movement, lift the knees. And so we're working both upper and lower core, and this really pumps your blood throughout your whole body really well and you may feel a little cardiovascular benefit here four and three and two and one okay last one is call it thread the needle so we're gonna go up and look at your hand and then back down and so up 
look at your hand. Again, follow your hand with your eyes and come back down. And up, look at your hand and come back down. Let's do two more. Up, look at your hand and back down. And last one, we go up and look at your hand and back down. Okay, other side, we're gonna again sweep. Remember, I start the sweep from my abdominals, then I go through the ribs and scapula, clavicle, and then finally the shoulders and hand. Three, and two, and one. So this also challenges your proprioceptors and helps immensely with balance. So thank you for joining me for another great workout, and I'll see you again next time.